charge for is the subject of today's video. My name is Jodie Bunting and welcome to another Facebook Live video where today we're going to be talking about my new Fitbit Charge 4. So this is the brand new Fitbit which has just been launched. Uh, now as always there's never a massive change with Fitbits when they bring out the new edition. There's all, always just one little feature. So the biggest new feature with the Charge 4 is it has GPS. So how can GPS, if you don't know what GPS is, it's basically the tracking uh, device that is built in now with uh, Fitbit. And you'll see a lot of people track their runs or their walks or their bikes with their phones because that has the GPS signal. And therefore, when you finish your run or your walk, you can have a little map and it will tell you where exactly where you've been and it tells you about the gradients and stuff like that. So it basically gives you more details of your uh, exercise. And that's exactly what the charge charge for can do um, if you are using your Fitbit just to track your steps and maybe you don't even connect it to your phone then just the basic one is fine but if you'd like more information about your uh, exercise then this is where the GPS facility in the new charge for will uh, help you now the good news is it is the same price as the uh, charge three so there's not a massive price difference now this one that I've got is the special edition now the only reason I got the special edition is because it was the same price as the normal edition so obviously they weren't selling very well uh, for those of you that know last year's uh, special edition I'll get it out my drawer this was last year's special edition and I did love the sport bracelet on it so it's very good for my exercise classes and swimming and stuff so that was last year's one this is this year's one now I wasn't that keen on the color to be honest with you when I first looked at it let's get rid of the box and let's get the real thing off my wrist this is what it looks like now you may notice straight away especially if you've got a charge three is the slender shape so that was the four last year and this is the three now you can see that it is a little bit thinner a tiny itsy bitsy little bit thinner uh, you probably can't notice it much on the actual device itself but certainly on the strap you can see there's a massive difference in the straps there i think the sport ones generally are more chunkier anyway um, but the good news is the straps so you just unplug that are completely interchangeable so if you've got a really good one on the three that you want to just put over to the four then you can do that so that is quite cool I do like that however something made me really fall in love with this strap so when you first look at it it's grey it's just grey I know grey is like the in colour it's not particularly something I really love even though my bed is grey um, but what it is is it's reflective now, I'm not sure whether you can see it without a really bright light. I might need to use my phone light to make it glazzle. Uh, but you know how, like, the in colour basically at the moment is that shiny, shiny material. That is the one that we want. So let me see whether I can make it shine. It works really well at night. I think just because we've got so much light it's not going to, you can almost see that it's like kind of glistening so that is the sort of glistening and the thing is at night you know those jackets that you get for running that obviously so people can see you at night time that really glistens up in the light as well so health and safety wise <laughs> it's a great one uh, i'll just show you a little bit more closely um so this is the as i said the limited edition one and it's got the reflective on the front and the back. Now, I was not sure about these material straps for swimming, um, but I've had a shower this morning about half an hour ago, um, and it's just a little bit damp now as well. So it's obviously not quite as good as the sport straps because they just instantly dry. Um, but yeah, about half an hour, one hour it takes to dry, so that's not a big problem. Um, what do, what are the other things that so if you've never tracked things on your Fitbit before um, all you need to do I need to just refresh myself right so all you need to do is swipe it to the side and you just click on exercise and the exercise that you're going to do and obviously that's um, how you will um, 
will track, use the GPS feature to do your exercise. Now, the other small feature that they've literally just put on, because as you know, uh, they do update the software on the Fitbit as well. And as you can see here, Spotify. So you can now control your Spotify account from your Fitbit. So if you haven't got a Fitbit account, if you haven't got a Spotify account, you'll be wondering like, well, how will that benefit me? Now, the reason is if you were listening to Spotify on your phone while you were plodding along, that means you can change the songs on your Spotify with your watch. And for me, that is just genius, genius because you don't need to fiddle about with your phone, stuff like that. Um, so I really do think that is a great uh, thing. And obviously if you use Apple Music or something like that, um, that will be good. Um, Christina is saying the Spotify account is, yes. Um, the other feature, uh, they have something called Fitbit Pay, which was just uh, featured in Charge 3 Limited Edition. Now, because my bank, NatWest and Nationwide, they don't have the, the, they haven't combined with Fitbit yet. It doesn't quite work, but I look forward to that because the idea of me just paying with my watch at every place is easier than getting my phone out as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, and yet, yeah, Christine is saying it is a great feature. It really is. Um, when you buy this special edition, you also get the black one as well. So if you did want a more waterproof one, that would be fine. The other thing that I've noticed on the app as well, when this is connected, that I now have something called zone minute. So if you can see that there, it says zone minute. So instead of just being activity minutes, it will now show you exactly when you've been in your fat burning zone, your cardio zone and your peak zone as well. For those of you who are overweight, um, just a reminder, you should always be in your fat burning zone, guys. Our heart and our lungs are not strong enough to go into cardio or peak. So definitely stay out of those zones. Just stay in fat burning zone and let's burn the fat away nice and gently. Um, so as I said, that is something new on this Fitbit as well. Uh, and then as always, um, everything, uh, advanced sleep, advanced heart rate, stuff like that on the modern Fitbits. So the question is, do you have a Fitbit? What do you love about it? Have you upgraded recently? I've never gone for one of the all singing, all dancing Fitbits that are like 200, 300 pound. This is probably my max uh, because as I said, it does exactly what I want it to do. And necessarily, I don't really want a Fitbit that completely controls my phone um, because as me, like many, lots of people are trying to get off their phone. So not being able to control it completely from your Fitbit is a good thing. So I'm going to put my Fitbit on. If you are interested in getting one of these or finding out more details, I've put a link in the uh, title, but I will just put another link in the description now. So if you are interested in finding out more about these, um, that is great. Now, I know a lot of people buy um, Fitbits that are not Fitbits, as in they buy pedometers, they buy step counters. Um, a lot of my slimmers have got that. Um, but So just remember, you actually don't need a Fitbit at all if you've got a modern phone, because you can download the Fitbit app and join in challenges and count your steps as long as you keep your phone with you. Um, so that is a great thing, guys. So you actually don't need a Fitbit to get involved in the Fitbit community. Um, so again, don't go wasting a lot of money uh, if you have a modern phone and you can just use that and that fits in with you. Uh, obviously, one of the main reasons I got it is because I used to swim quite a lot. So you can't really take your phone swimming with you. Well, actually you can because it's waterproof, but just practically, uh, and I think legally, <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to take your phone in the pool with you. Uh, so this is why I personally got a Fitbit and one that's great in water. 
Christine is saying, oh God, I love the zone idea. I've still got my Apple Watch, so not really sensible to change. I love my Fitbit in the past, so might eventually change back. Yes, Christina, uh, Apple Watch, a few of my friends have got them and they are great. Uh, and again, they've got exactly the same thing. They've got this zone minute. And my friend Claire at the weekend, she was just trying to run faster all the time because she wanted to be in the zone. Um, so that's where, um, you know, it does, it is good. And what I would say as well is, is have the device that your friends have got, because obviously a lot of my slimmers have got Fitbits and that's great for us. I know a lot of runners have Garmin's, uh, and a lot of people also have Apple watches as well. So your, your nearest and your dearest, I would say, you know, have the device with them because that does connect you as well the most. So that would be my advice. Uh, if you're just joining us, you can watch this video in a few minutes on replay. Uh, that was my small review on the brand new Fitbit Charge 4 Special Edition that has the, let me give you the official, it's called the Granite Woven Reflective Band. Right, over and out from me, guys. As always, give this video a like. Share if you think your friends will enjoy to watch it. Uh, and as always, you can download my free diet plan at jodiebunting.com. Thank you for joining me. Have a lovely, lovely day, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.